Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a open eyed reborn look realistic in a car seat. So if you don't have a sleeping reborn and you just have an awake reborn, this video I hope will help you so you guys can have a few tips on how to make your open eyed babies look realistic. So I have baby Pablo here and he's going to be my model for this video. Um, for those who don't know, Pablo is my Saskia kit. So hopefully this will give you just a few tips on how to make a baby look realistic in a car seat. So Pablo is now in the car seat. He doesn't look very realistic as you can tell. He has his shoes on because that's one thing people may like is to put shoes or socks on their baby so their feet don't show if they don't have the most realistic painting. It varies on people and how comfortable they are if they don't want their baby's feet to show. Socks and shoes are always an option. I don't always put socks and shoes on for my babies but it depends on how I feel that day. So the main the most important thing I would do to make your baby look realistic in a car seat is actually click them in because if you don't click them in they're not going to look very realistic are they? They're just going to look like they're just laying in there. I'm going to just take this bit down so that you guys can see me click them in properly. Okay so Pablo is now clipped in. He looks a lot more real already in here. He looks like a little baby is just strapped in. Um, babies, like the smaller babies, you may want to have a head support in so it looks like the head won't bobble around everywhere in here because this is a big car seat but this head support just helps it so it doesn't bobble everywhere. And that's another thing which can help with realism is the shoulder pads and the headrest. So these just help make it seem like your baby's a lot more comfortable and don't have these like getting into their neck. Sometimes there's also a pad which goes over the um, buckle. This one, I do have one, but I don't like it on the babies. It just makes my car seat personally look a bit weird because this didn't originally come with this car seat. I added these straps in myself, but that was my personal choice. So the next thing you may want to help your baby look realistic. Um, this is a personal preference, but because Pablo has an open mouth and because he's awake, his mouth obviously stays open so to help with the realism you may want to use a dummy so he's just got a little nook dummy in and as you can see that just helps him look like he's just woken up from a nap or he's just a bit sleepy and I think it adds more realism some people don't like using dummies um, if you do you could also have the dummy laying down on him so it looks like it's fallen obviously follow like the line of where it would have fallen so imagine where it would have gone and place it so that looks realistic because it looks like it's just plopped there, but you may, you want to make it look as realistic as possible. So he now looks reasonably realistic. Now, because it's getting into summertime here, and he is a bold baby, he doesn't have any hair, he's not rooted or painted, I put hats on Pablo. Again, this helps with the realism because it just... People generally put hats on their newborns. You know, it covers their eyes and it protects their eyes in the summer. Some people don't like doing this, but I personally do, just because it helps, again, with the realism. But again, this is all personal preference. Remember, you don't have to do this. I also add scratch mitts. Again, personal preference. I just have these white ones. Um, this is because his hands are fists, and this one's pointed up, so it's like that. The pointed up one may not be seen as the most realistic hand. So I put scratch mitts on. Again, this is personal preference. This just helps make it look like your baby's just got scratch mitts on, their hands are just curled up in the scratch mitts. Um, I always fold mine at the bottom because they always like go down to the elbow and I don't like that on the babies. So Pablo has a hat, a dummy, scratch mitts and is clipped in. That already makes him look realistic. Another thing you will want to do is dress your baby weather dependent. So because it's summer, He's in shorts and a short sleeve top with a little hat on, scratch mitts and his shoes. But if it was in the winter, he would be in long trousers, long sleeve tops, uh, more sensible shoes, socks and a coat. But because it's nice weather, he's not going to wear a coat. But generally, no matter what weather, babies will always have some sort of blanket. So this is just a quick like swaddle muslin blanket I've got for the babies. You don't want to make it look like neat. Some people do. 
um, because sometimes babies can leave it neat, but I like it slightly messy because it just gives that realism that baby's been kicking around in it. I do like tucking it under their feet though, so it's not like over the edge, but again, I just leave it so it looks like it's just been messed around with because that just looks like he's cosy in there, but it's, this is a very light blanket. I wouldn't use this sort of blanket in the winter just because it's so thin. I would use a lot more thicker blanket. Some people, this is only some people, don't like having their baby showing very much at all. So this here, the hood, helps cover up baby. This is a good one because it helps with the wind. It's a very soft one and it's nice and comfortable for baby. And even when baby's in there, you can still see them and the sides aren't massive. Now, with the awake babies, you don't want them just staring into space. If you do have them showing, you may want to have them covered in some way. So what I do, or if I don't want them covered, I have a toy and I get the baby to look towards the toy. So it kind of looks like they're looking towards the toy, like so. So it looks like he's focused on the toy. So if people just go by it, this looks like he's focused. Or even you could just move the hat down so it looks like he's asleep. So if you have it from the side, he could be asleep. But it all depends on the angle of your pram also. So that's just a few tips. You could also add a couple of like chain link toys like I've got here. You could even add a lovey for the smaller babies. So some sort of like little lovey they can cuddle and that's just a soft toy. With older babies it is slightly different and I will do like how to make your toddler look realistic soon when Aubrielle arrives. She should be here this week so hopefully within the next few days you'll see a box opening. And I will do one similar for a sleeping baby so you get a similar picture for the sleeping babies. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed these few tips. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye everyone.